to take a look at how to optimize listings in List Perfectly. And then after you optimize them, you can delist and relist those, uh, those optimized listings. And first I'll go in and I'll show you right here. Say, well, let's go ahead and do these shorts. This is kind of an old listing. So I'll show you how we optimize this um, with using Listing Assistant. We'll click Listing Assistant. And then you can either create, uh, you can optimize your listing using the images from your title, or you can scan a barcode. I'm going to go ahead and use just my images. So I'll click, click images, uh, create images. And you can choose your tone. You can have different uh, antique or vintage, just the facts, concise. I think I'll do slightly funny. So then when I click, when I launch listing assistant, that's going to read my first six images to optimize my listing. I can go here. Uh, to my closet, Poshmark closet, and show you that this listing is already in there. And you can have up to 30 images in your list perfectly um, listing, but it, the listing assistant will read the first six images. So you could, I can see now that this is um, a much better description. I've got bullet points. Uh, I've got great keywords here. And it's got my pattern. It's changed quite a few things, which is really good. I needed that. So I'm going to go ahead and accept those details. And then I'll click Save Progress. And actually, we can go in and see where it has fixed this, this really old listing that needed a lot of help. <laughs> so we'll cancel. And you can also optimize your listings by clicking bulk edit. And let's say I want to change my prices on these. Um, how about 225? We'll do this one at 250. And how about we'll do this one at 225 as well. Then I'll go ahead and click save. Now after you've done this, we can go in and we will delist these from Poshmark and then we can relist them. And once we do that, it, these, these listings now actually have different content, different prices. Uh, the shorts have uh, several details that have been changed. And once we uh, delist and relist, relisting them actually creates a whole new listing with a, new, a whole new item ID number. So I'll show you how this process works. I will go in here, click that, and then I'll click Poshmark. And then I'll click Delist, Relist. And then what List Perfectly is going to do is it's going in and it is actually delisting those three listings. So I can show you that here. And you can see my uh, those listings are now gone. They've been delete, delisted from my closet. And the listings, they actually were created in another tab over on my other screen. So I'm moving these over so you can see what has happened here is since those have been delisted, let's perfectly created new listings in new Poshmark tabs with the new details that have been generated or like in my case, I went in and changed some prices, but like on these shorts, um, the description has changed and that kind of thing. So what we'll do is we will go in and just double check, make sure that everything is, is correct. Let's see your shorts, two shorts. And see, it's, it's kind of neat because you have the opportunity to go in and check all of the details and this looks good. So I will go in and publish this myself. And as you can see, this is now a new listing on Poshmark. A brand new listing with the new details included. And we'll go in and do this one as well. This is a kid jacket. And see, we have the new price already already changed in there. Got that done. 
And then we have the price on this. This is another one I changed the price on. You can see the price has changed. So I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I forgot to do the category. I got excited about publishing my new listing. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And we'll go down here and double check everything. And then I get to go in and actually publish the listing myself. So now you can see these are all the new listings on Poshmark. I'll reload my closet and you can see these are all new fresh listings uh, showing in my closet now.